It's 3.30 in the morning and we're inside of a haunted cornfield right now, rumored to have shadow figures, angry spirits. Oh no. What the hell was that? This was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. I, I thought that was it. I, I thought we were dead. Jesus. Oh. oh, oh, my God, I'm stuck. Oh, Run! oh. oh. this way. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the zigzags and stuff is like, uh. Oh, my gosh, what the hell was that? Yeah, the zigzags and stuff is like, uh. Oh, my gosh, what the hell was that? Swear to God, I just saw somebody standing back there. Like where the the curtain thing is? Yeah. Oh my God! What is that? Oh my God! Tonight's location is probably the craziest location we have ever been to. This is Greystone Manor. People have reported seeing shadowy figures all over the building and outside in the cornfield. People have reported being scratched, pushed down the stairs choked in certain rooms and so much more. I mean, loud EVPs, doors slamming, banging on doors. Craziest part of all is that this property is also a cemetery. There are bodies buried underneath and around this house. So, oh man, we already know that there are a lot of spirits here that probably would like to communicate with people. And here we are. The only thing is there has been seances done here. There's been a lot of doors that have been opened. And usually when you open doors to good, sometimes some bad slips in as well. And that seems to be the case with all of these encounters people are having here. The, the scratches and pushing down the stairs, clearly something isn't right here. And hopefully we get to encounter that, not, not, not getting pushed down the stairs, not like that, I don't want that to happen. But, um, but the craziest part about this property, the cornfield. Oh yeah. Bro. I am so mm -hmm. excited for this cornfield. Uh, right before we started filming, Heather was telling us some experiences that she's had, the owner of this house, where she has seen shadow men running through the cornfield, sometimes standing there for seconds at a time before they vanish. And I don't know what they want. I don't know if they're a part of the property or maybe just in general there, right? But something clearly is going on over there. And a lot of guests have encountered these shadow men as well. She described them as giant, like eight, nine feet tall. She said that they may be protecting some of the bodies out there as like some sort of spiritual... The only thing is, if they're protecting them and they think that they need to protect them that's from us, mm -hmm. that's where it can get a little scary. Because yeah, humans can be like grave robbers and stuff. Like, yeah. if they look at us and like, oh, get those, those guys. Boys are yeah. grave robbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man, well, watch out for those two. <laughs> absolutely. Well, as you can see, we're in one of the creepiest rooms of the place. This is the doll room. There is said to be the spirit of a little boy here, but that he isn't the nicest. Let's mm -hmm. just put it that way. Um, that's one of the many spirits here, but we're going to save this for the video. Uh, save, there's so many rooms. There's a basement. Like I said, cornfield. It's going to be a crazy night. So just get ready, guys. If you are excited for this video and you want to see more, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And also, one last thing before we get into the video. It is the season of giving just around the Thanksgiving time. And you guys have given me so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I would like to give back. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be giving away tons of $100 Visa gift cards and some signed merchandise of the Ghost at Home series. All you have to do to participate is just comment something that you're thankful for down in the comment section below. That's it. If you share this video on social media, your name is entered two times. So... Good luck, everybody. I'm very thankful for you guys. What's one thing you're thankful for, Ben? Um, thankful I'm here today. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. Right. What are you thankful for, Angelo? I'm thankful for... Diesel? Also, Angelo is behind the camera at the moment. Make sure to go check out his video because we will be doing different videos. Everything that you see here, you will not see in his video and vice versa. Two completely different videos. It's going to be a... Cr what the hell was it? Like it came from behind me. Yeah. It literally. That's probably that ventriloquist doll right there. The cat's not moving. The cat's still asleep. No. That doll might be the creepiest one of all. <laughs> Look at that little guy. With no eyes. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, let's take you back to when we first got into the house and started doing our little walkthrough. Show you guys around a little bit. Take a look. 
All right, so let's show you guys around. Um, but first, we should probably introduce ourselves. So what's up? Hello. <laughs> what? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, spirits. My name is Yasko. I'm here with my friends. Uh, Sam, how you doing? And I'm Angelo. And uh, we're going to be spending the night here. We'd like to get to know you a little bit and uh, spend some time with you. So if there's anything you want to share with us, warn us about because uh, we heard some, some things. Um, please come forward and do so. We'd like to get to know you a little bit better, share your story maybe. So, guys, where do we go first? The basement, second floor, cornfield? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the cornfield. What do you guys think? Maybe, maybe... I'll infect you. Oh, okay. All right, do it. I know, we literally just walked oh. in. Literally, yeah, <laughs> straight from the door. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, please don't. I, I appreciate it if you don't. Um, like I said, people have been pushed down the stairs, scratched, uh, attacked. It's, it's crazy here. Uh, one big thing was sleep paralysis. When people sleep here, even just regular guests, not paranormal investigators, because you could like actually sleep here like a hotel room. You could mm -hmm. book the rooms. And people... Probably people who've never had sleep paralysis yeah, in their life. Right. Here and oh, yeah. Episodes. Yeah, yeah sleep exactly. It, it's that's, crazy. That's horrifying, bro. It, it's scary because, some be like you said, some people have never experienced sleep paralysis before. They come here. They don't know what's going on. It feels as if something's like sitting on top of them. They can't breathe. And oh, my God. It's, it's a horrifying feeling. And, oh, sleep paralysis happens here a lot. Really? We have guests who stay who aren't paranormal people. Yeah. They're just regular guests and they'll have sleep paralysis. Like, really? Yeah, really? Crazy. Really weird. That's happened in the green and red rooms. The green room has a lot so far, it sounds like. Green room is pretty crazy. Yeah. Red yeah. room is also weird. There's a lady who's, they hear her singing, like I said, and that humming and stuff seems to be coming out of that red room. And I think someone was choked in there because people feel like they can't breathe as soon as you walk in there. Oh, it feels wow. like something goes like this on your throat. It's super weird. Some people feel like there's something on top of them. Some people actually see this shadow figure in their rooms. This is what's been reported here. It's crazy. Just from normal guests. We're sleeping here now? Well, we're sleeping here. Each in our own separate rooms. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild night. So I think we should start from the top down and then we head into the cornfield after. Thoughts? I actually like that plan. That's pretty Yeah, I think that works. Cool. That All right, sense. so let's head upstairs. Um, you said you're gonna affect us. Who's gonna affect us? Can you? Jesus. What? Uh, this dude, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Abe Lincoln. Is it? With a stash. I thought he was like seven foot tall. Oh, What's I up, bro? This is the uh, room where... We are not bad. Okay, uh, this is the room where the, the cat was thrown. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah you're it was right. that, it's Do you remember cat. the name? Um, Eric. Was yeah, it Eric? It's Eric, yeah. So Eric was thrown off of the couch. Mm -hmm. uh, the owner, Heather, showed us... Between. Between. Between what and what? I don't know. Wait, wait, it said, it said we're not bad between. Oh, between good and bad. Okay. So maybe like if we don't get on their bad side, they won't affect us or hurt us. Sure. All right. Well, that's that works. Good way mm -hmm. to start. Yeah. Uh, we, Heather showed us the footage. We actually have it. I'll put it on screen for you guys right here. But Eric was picked up and thrown off the couch. And then you could see like a white misty figure from this room right here. And they believe that this room is potentially a portal. Yeah. We know the basement is, but that's connected to, with the basement. So it makes a whole lot of sense. I'll show that for you guys right here. Oh my oh. god. Actually comes off of the couch. He's like two feet up and he's sound asleep. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, he's going up there. They pick him they up, pick by, him up by, by his belly and he kicks his feet. You know when you pick a cat up and they kick yeah. his feet to get away? Yeah. Like he's actually kicking his and feet. And it looks like he almost, at the end, it looks like he almost like threw him against the couch. And you'll see a white mist right in that area. Wait, right before it. See it? Oh, yeah, I see it, I see it. Right there. See how it's like <gasps> a white mist? Yeah. Like it's re mm -hmm. going over to reach. Oh wow! And it so goes right over to him, and then picks him up and throws him. Oh. And that's at like two in the morning. Like he's kitty. Poor Eric. Oh my god. What was that? What happened? I don't know. I heard something. Uh. Hello. Do you want me to check it out? Sure. You sure it wasn't Abe Lincoln? Oh, I hear that too. I hear that. Are you upstairs? Yo, there's something upstairs. She killed us. Whoa. Who killed you? Bro, what is that? I'm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's coming from- Nobody talks to us. Um, 
Well, that's why we're here. Yeah. Like to get to know you a little bit better. Should we just head up there? I guess. Like we said, we we're gonna go head up there anyways. <laughs> yeah, he scared me too, man. <laughs> Good old Abe. I heard he was seven foot tall. I mean, he's in disguise, bro. Leave him alone. He's got a stash. Now. I was gonna say, put him in the NBA. <laughs> he's in the wrong profession. Bro, this is so cool. Hello? Okay, so... A chimes? Where is it coming from? The grandfather clock downstairs, maybe? Maybe, yeah. Was there a grandfather clock downstairs? There was, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Like, okay. Oh. That was freaky. <laughs> I thought it was like a music box or something. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. All right, well, we know that there is a green room, a red room, and a kid's room. Quiet. Okay. I came from this room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, uh, wanna split up? But it's coming from that room. Yeah. It wants us wrong, right? It sounds like something's walking in that room. Yeah. And it asked you to be quiet. Yeah. Wants it wants to, to show us that it's here. Okay, um, all right, well. Satanic. Oh, okay. Okay, well, uh, we'll take the satanic room then. Sure. <laughs> ben, wanna grab that one? Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Cover more ground, I guess. Hello? Okay. So this is the uh, red room. Go ahead and close that. Now everything here is like from like the early 1800s. So like that door that I just shut is from like 1833 during like the cowboy times. All right, so if there's any spirits in here, wanna make yourself known. We're uh, doing a little investigation here, although I keep on hearing weird knocks and shit anyway, so I feel like whoever wants me to uh, make contact with them is trying pretty hard, so. Oh wow, this is like a wedding dress, looks like. I wonder what's in the chest. Oh. It's locked. That's fair. What the fuck was that? I don't know if you guys just heard. There was like a... You guys hearing that? It's almost coming from like this uh, cupboard with a key and lock. Okay. There's literally nothing in here. Hello? Go ahead and close that. And uh, I'm gonna go check with uh, Jazz and see what he's doing. This is the room I'm sleeping. I don't know what room I'm sleeping. They, they said I'm sleeping in the green room. Which which one is that? Oh, that's this one. This is that's the, the one where like a bunch of people died. In? Yeah, yeah. The green room. Yeah. The one I'm sleeping in. Sorry? I I refused to sleep in this room last time I was here, so I did stay in this room, and of course stuff happened anyways. Oh yeah, you were here before. Yeah, so yeah, what's yeah. some? Okay. I'm with family. Okay. I, good. I'm here. That right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Hello? Boom! Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> oh. Brother, he looked like he was about to pounce on me. <laughs> he was like, it's, it's funny because there's so many animals here, like cats and dogs, yeah. tons of them. It's like an attack position, for fuck's sake. So you were here before. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you experienced? Um, well, let's just say we did definitely make contact with something that wasn't so, uh, so nice. Um, a lot of other things. Too. What do you mean something that wasn't, like how? Definitely something that was most likely demonic. At least evil at the very least. There is like a, a fancy looking Ouija board somewhere in here. I don't know if you saw it yet, but what the hell was that? Uh, it's just tapping. I, it yeah. might be coming from that door. Maybe. Who's in there? Are you with your family in here? <laughs> hmm. Ben's coughing up a storm over there. Yeah. You alright, Ben? Maybe ben? Check him? Yeah. Ben? Infant. Infant. <gasps> you alright? What the hell? You okay, bro? <gasps> You right? What's wrong? You want water? Yeah. Okay. What happened? Allergies? I don't even know how to describe it, bro. But your face is like all red and... Holy shit. You alright? I... <clears throat> Just take a breath. Yeah, okay. Just give me... Can you give me... I'm gonna go get yeah. you water. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just stay here, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Very good, bro. Just breathe. Woo, sa. I'm right next to you. What the hell? Well, like, what happened exactly? It felt kind of like when something goes down the wrong pipe. Yeah. But like burning. And it, it felt like there was like a. I couldn't find water, I'm sorry. But here's this. It's close enough to water. Better than nothing, I suppose. What happened? Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it right now. Uh, it felt like there was like a burning sensation like in my throat, and it felt like there was pressure on like the sides of my throat, like right here. Like. Oh yeah. See anything? Well, you, do, uh, do you see something? There's almost like... Anyone. Oh, by the way, when I was downstairs, the camera definitely caught it because I, I had this in my pocket and I'm wearing the mic. It said, I'm right next to you, by the way. That's really creepy. But next Like to right who? when I left. So maybe it was talking about Ben. Like, I'm right next to you. Okay. I mean, there is this there was creepy dress back here. There was so something coming from here, which kind of... <clears throat> kind of... Um, I don't know. It sounded like voices were coming from this wardrobe, which also started to fuck with me a little bit. You know what's crazy about that is uh, Heather was telling us that they hear EVPs, but like out loud. Oh, yeah. Like they hear full-on conversations throughout the night. Yeah. That one that she showed us earlier was crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. creepy. The, the laugh, the right? The yeah. laughing. They call it like something laughing in the basement, like maniacally laughing. Are you okay? Do you want to sit down or...? Um, Maybe take a second. Yeah. Let's just, uh, we'll see how I do. You want to stay together? Let's stay together. Stay yeah, together, okay. Like mm -hmm. Good idea, right? Yeah, I'll end this over here. Thanks. We'll just stay together. Um, yeah. Jasmine. Oh, okay. Hello. All right, well, that's my name. How, how you doing? What's your name? Let's see how they spell it, because <laughs> in the Bosnian version, my name is spelled with J-A-S-M-I-N. Mm -hmm. J-A-S-M-I-N. Nice. Awesome. Well, okay. perfect. Well, maybe that's what I was saying, like, I'm right next to you. Maybe. Maybe yeah. me. Oh, and you were asking if it, if yeah. it was me, and it's now saying, it might be saying that it was you. Yeah, maybe. So whatever happened to me was separate? Bert. I'm sorry, my throat. Yeah, you're not looking good, bro. Your eyes are like watery and everything. Here. Just get out of here. Come on. All right. Like, so, so. You know what's funny is, choose. Uh, what's funny is we're not even in the green room yet, which Angela says is this one, the one where multiple people died in. Yeah. And you said, what, five people died in? Something like that, yeah. Just five? 
Yeah. Just five? <laughs> Just five. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. It could be six. <clears throat> oh, wow. These photos, bro. Holy sh... Bro, Angela, look at some of these photos. Oh, yeah. So when we came here, Heather did let us know that there are many things that can happen to us here. Getting a scratch, getting choked, uh, being pushed on the stairs. Uh, I'm glad that didn't happen. Uh, however, when I was in that room, I don't know what to describe it other than the feeling of being choked. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Hmm. My goodness. So, yeah, these are probably all, all old photos from this property. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, because the... They used to raise horses back in the day. Yeah. It was like one guy that was yeah. raising. Which like is like really rare horses and that's actually how he died. Bro. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I don't see that every day. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen that personally. It also has like a really weird odor in here. Like perfume or cologne or something. It is, like yeah. It. Like I'm digging it. Yeah. But that's what I mean. Like So this is where I'm sleeping. Oh huh? my god, I've had that reoccurring dream before. This one. What? The horses, like infinite oh. horses, the horse line in the storm. Okay. That's a strange uh, green he photo. Me. He shot me. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, when did he shoot you? When did you pass, if you don't mind me asking? I know someone died on a horse. Well, think about what land this is. Oh. And what happened. The wars. Yeah. There was a lot of battles that took place here. Yeah. Did, I mean, here's the thing. We're talking about numerous bodies that mm -hmm. are buried here on this property. Everywhere. Right? This whole area. Yeah, this whole was area known for that. Yeah. But I'm talking about this area in specific. Yeah. The amount of bodies they've dug up. Oh, yeah. Literally within 100 feet of where we're standing right now. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. You know what's crazy, too? Like, how different they handled, like, deaths back in the day. Like, if someone went missing and you didn't find out what happened to them, it was just kind of like, oh, they just kind of yeah. like Yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. It's, it was so different than what it is now. Like, missing persons and stuff. Like... Oh, they'll look for them like years and years and years later. Yeah. Every time they get a lead, they start looking again. Yeah, kind exactly. Of thing. Okay. Well, I will be sleeping in here. You have already s announced me, said my name. So this is going to be my bedroom tonight, the green room. Yeah, which is very interesting. Kind of scary, not going to mm -hmm. lie. Um, I don't want to be a statistic. So I will just be, <laughs> <laughs> I will just keep my short, uh, my stay short one night. Yeah. And, uh, or if we really wanted to. We could go to this infamous doll room where they say there's bunk beds. What happened? Why did you grab my leg? What? Something just grabbed my leg. Like literally, like the back of my leg. What the hell? Maybe it was a. Uh, maybe it was a. Like maybe. Maybe it was from here, like this. Yeah, like yeah, this? yeah, yeah. It, no, it actually felt like as if somebody grabbed, like, oh. put their whole hand right around, like, the How back of my... How the hand feel? <sighs> I don't know. Because like there is, adult, like, this mischievous kid here, right? This right. kid spirit. Well, yeah. That likes to mess with people. So, it could yeah. be him. It could be. I and mean, we were just talking about his room. We were. The doll room. room. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Oh. Here we come. Hey, uh... What? The hell? Where did, was that? I, I have no idea. I don't think it was there, though. I don't think that was... We just walked past it. When we came upstairs, we'll have to rewatch the footage. I don't know. Let, let me know, guys, if... I think she was somewhere here. I mean, that would make sense. Some fucking creepy ass Annabelle looking thing though. I I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Keep me safe, alright? <laughs> I don't scratch my back, actually. Please. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> yeah, I know I do it to myself, I guess. I'm sorry, I did that. Well that's a creepy painting, actually. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Person. That is a person in a painting. It's like multiple person. Is that a person? Oh, okay, oh, no. guys. What? What? I found it. The doll room. Ooh. Here, I'll go in first. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Enjoy. Is anybody here with us? There's the bunk beds, Ben. Oh, boy. Oh, 
dude, this is so cool. This guy doesn't have eyes. This one doesn't have eyes, actually. Oh my god. Oh wow. Look at that. Dude, look at these photos right here. So there's pictures of like people's like old people that have actually lived here before. And um Oh I didn't mean to do that. What is this? Oh. I like the woods. I I I I just picked this up. I didn't crank it at all, I swear to god. Maybe it's because it's still wound up a little bit, right? Maybe. Possibly. That's weird. That is weird. What are you holding, Angel? I don't know. It's like a hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <gasps> wait, wait, look at the face. I know. I know. It looks like a fucking uh a like, Furby. Yeah, Furby. Kinda. Like furry old friend. <laughs> it's as good as it furry. gets. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Keep that on the rest of the night. Okay, sure. that's still doing it. But yeah. If there's anybody here that like to make themselves known, please come forward and do so. Anybody at all is the child of the of the the spirit of the child here with us? Uh, th uh, this thing is just like I know it doesn't have eyes, but it's staring into my soul. Mm. Legit, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, or it's just encapsulating your soul, maybe. Maybe it sure feels like Shell. it. Heal. Heal boy. <laughs> Oh, there's dogs here. Dude, the dolls in this room are just... Yeah, they got like a whole collection of them, man. Yeah, like this I one mean, is just... Odd. Yeah, big chimpy. Yo, that's uh, Planet of the Apes. Right? I Maybe, have yeah. no idea. If you want to show yourself at any point in the night in any mirror on this property, please, please feel free to. We would love to see you. We would love to communicate with you. We hear so much about these shadow... That wasn't... That was like down the hall. I just heard it. That was down the hall, bro. Like a door Where, open. That one? Hello? It definitely sounded like it was in the yeah. hallway. That's weird. That's really weird. Um, Any door up here could have just done that. Oh, we're in a hotel. That's the thing, yeah. This place is. It could have been that one. Probably. Well, you want guys? You guys want to go check out the basement? Sure. All right, let's go. You first, Ben. Go ahead. You first. Oh, me first. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? You feeling any better? Uh, I'm in higher spirits right now. Oh, okay, that's good. You didn't close that? No! I'm literally holding Death the- Death is not the end. Good to know. What the hell is going on? <laughs> no, I found someone pushing me. Did you see that? Where are you going? I'm freaked out right now. Yeah, don't make me here. These photos are freaking me out. Look at that one. Oh. Um, I, I still feel like I just got pushed. Yeah, Ben's like feeling it right yeah. now. Something's really not... My name is Mary. You saw oh. that, right? I was standing and I... I, I, I felt like hmm. something just like pushed yeah, me. Yeah. Wrong phone. My name is Mary. Mary, was that you pushing Ben? Or was that you who closed the door? Death is not the end, I said before that. I wonder what that means. Is it like a... Supposed to be comforting or something? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you, bro. All right, well, let's head down into the basement, boys. Sure. It didn't matter what room we were in inside of this building. It felt as if there was someone with us. And this room in particular, the doll room, as they like to call it, I don't know what I felt, but I didn't feel welcome. And it is rumored that there is a child spirit here, but I don't know if maybe I was sensing something else, but I was scared. Truly scared. All right. Creepy basement time. I nominate Angela to go first. Sure. Good luck, pal. Sure. Sure yeah, yeah, come on. Right behind you. Oh. All right, he's secured. <laughs> Put the grenade down there. What's up, man? Sorry, we wouldn't do that today, I promise. Um, so they said that there is a Ouija board down here that we can use. There is. Which. People do use here. I so. would just like to tell you one thing, though. 
Yeah. There is nothing to fear but fear itself, and of course, the boogeyman. Okay. The booger man. You make that up. No, you read it right here. Oh! Oh. Uh, Ben? What? Can I see it for a sec? Sure. I get what they mean now by the big Ouija board. Yep. They meant big Ouija board. Oh, wow. Oh, that's oh. beautiful, bro. Very cool. Are we going to summon like an XL sized spirit? <laughs> I <laughs> like hope a, so. Like a demon, I mean? Like a massive nine foot tall shadow man that they claim? Is this yeah. why? Actually, well, we definitely got something weird last time we were here on that table. So. I just realized this is a brick basement, like like oh. uh, dungeon walls. Well, look at this door, yeah. That's a dungeon door. It Actually, goes to the dungeon. So Quite there, curious. There is a story about that. About that room? About that room, yeah. What kind of story? Let's, let's look at first. Wait, wait, wait. A story behind this room? Yeah. Um, apparently, I guess, like, Somebody who used to work on the house back in the day <clears throat> stumbled down as he was terribly drunk. Oh, jeez. Died at the bottom of the steps. Oh, right here? my God, bro. The, the, the weirdest thing happens when you get to the top of the steps. What's the weirdest thing? You'll see. You have to go in. Ha. Huh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the tables have turned. That's what happens. <laughs> All right, Jez, yeah, come on out. <laughs> I, I, I asked for that one. You did. Yeah, pretty <laughs> weird. Um, yeah, let's get the camera set up. Let's use this now. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and use this Ouija board table. Give it a shot. Heather uh, states that a lot of people get great responses with this, so we're going to give it a shot, see what happens with it. Um, I've only ever used, like, an actual board but the matter of the fact is, like, people can make Ouija boards out of anything. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom used to do the Ouija board back in, like, the 80s on a piece of cardboard that she would draw, like, whatever she had available. You know, that's what they did as kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's me. Full circle moment, right? Mm -hmm. So. I feel like those ones are more powerful for some reason. Oh, yeah. oh, homemade yeah. Ouija board oh, you're making oh, it yourself. Yeah. Like, it's got, like, more energy to it. But I've used this table. This, this actual you've table? used this before. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It worked? Chad and I came. Oh, yeah. It worked. Yeah. The thing about Ouija boards is like you either believe in them or not. And some people are like, oh, Ouija boards, don't use those. Well, mm -hmm. guys, we. Here. Oh, someone's here. here. Someone's here. Should we start? Maybe we should just start. Start. And well, we got to open up the gates anyways. So. Yeah. A lot of people are very scared of Ouija boards, but honestly, that's what Hollywood did to it, guys. It's, it's really not. It's just a tool. It's a yeah, way of communication. Yeah. So. I mean, evening. Evening to you as well. You do got to be careful though. Cause yes. You can. Let it's a gate. You're opening a portal. A gate. And... You're inviting basically yeah. at this point. Yes. Like we're asking for people or spirits to. Yep. Well, I think it's their people. Spirits of the manor, if you want to come join us at the table and. I like the toys. Oh come on now! This is a serious oh, piece wow. of equipment that we're Dude, using right now. There's literally toys right across the room. Oh. There is a. Yeah. Oh. Tom's on. <gasps> is that Tom Servo? If you can make any of the toys go off. Please that come forward and do cool. so. Okay. Is there anybody here that would like to communicate with us? I heard, do you hear? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. hearing that. It's coming from that room over there. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm not room losing it. With All the right. curtains over there? Is that you over there? Please. Sounds like walking over there. It does, yeah. Are we sure we only was down here? Yeah. I thought we were. Here, hold on. Oh, bro, you just made a mistake. Yeah. What happened? Your fingers are off. Mama me, I'm so sorry. Yeah, like I gotta push my glasses back up on my face, but I'm trying not to break the. Use uh... my head. <laughs> Thank you. <No> <laughs> that's how that's adequacy when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something's over there. You heard something again? Stop. Something's literally over there. Somebody back there? Uh, movie recording has been stopped automatically on your camera, bro. What? It just stopped. Yeah. Movie recording has been stopped automatically. Does it say why? No. That doesn't make any sense. It literally just stopped recording on Angela's camera. And we what? can't take our fingers off because... Wait. Uh, Here, try hitting record. Oh, 
Uh-uh. No? Go forward. Maybe we should check out what's over there. Yeah. Here, Maybe okay, close gonna, this for a sec. This no, no, a Angela, second. you go, you go. Okay. Well, me, and, me and Ben will stay here for a sec. I don't know if that's how this works, oh, but... Hey. <laughs> We're experimenting, right? We're, I think we're always when it comes to Ouija boards. You're like the <laughs> the break the rules guy. <laughs> that was really weird. Yeah, maybe it's the memory card is full or something. I don't know. Is it full? It shouldn't be. Dead don't rest. I know. I, I can tell. Yeah. Well, the sounds may have stopped. Yeah, maybe. But I'm starting to highly think that. Is what was in that room affecting Angelo's camera? No. Uh. Angelo. You see? Oh, what was that? Are we so sure we're. Are we, are we sure there's no one in here right now? No. We're the only ones here. Is it recording now? Yeah. Yeah. It's recording. What the hell is going on? I literally didn't do anything. I turned it I don't off think, and then back on. And I don't think we should have taken your fingers off there. It, it was right when I took my fingers off. I think that this is... I mean, I mean think about it. Like, what, what if something wanted Angelo to do that? So he took yeah. his fingers off, so oh, he shot at the camera. Yeah. Well, too late now. Okay. I guess that's true. Let's go back to you. So what did you guys ask exactly? I, 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 oh, I forgot. I think I said... Is what we heard over there the the thing or person affecting your camera? And you went to yes. Weird. Okay. Um, do you have a name? Can you spell out your name for us? What is that? Um... Williams. Williams, B, E, Bro, why did it just... You spelled your name, Ben. Wait, 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 okay, hold on, let's not jump wait, to Caucasians yeah, right yeah. now. There's literally a gravestone outside with the name Ben on it. Wait, what did you just say? So it could be talking... Do you mean harm? No, 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 we do not. Wait, Ben Williams, what was the last name on the... I don't know. We're gonna have to go I check don't that. think they know. Oh my god, we literally might have just found that like information because we just it gave us the last maybe a last name and a first name. Wait. Yeah, I, I don't think they know. So there's a, there, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a there's a there's a body that we know about on the property that is named, named Ben. Yeah, he was. That's a, a little bit more comforting, there's I guess. There's a, a child. Boy, yeah. That's not. <gasps> I like the toys. It said. Oh, that makes so much sense. What was his last name? If his name was Ben Williams, I'll, I would... We're going to have to go check. I, yeah. I don't know if it's on... As far as I know, they don't know. I hear babies crying, but no one had babies here. So some are like... It's you know, possible, yeah. Because mm -hmm. there are little tombstones, baby tombstones on the side of the house. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. It ended up being a little boy of the Root family, like a three or four-year-old boy. Oh, my God. And he's buried up by the tree. If it was... I don't know if... Are you guys going outside at all tonight? Probably. Oh. Because if you do, there's a tree over there with like bird feeders hanging from Yeah. It, and there's a little statue of a boy. That's where Ben is buried. But okay. it makes those bird feeders move. <laughs> so they get like a lot of... I think it just says, our beloved Ben, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, I'm getting like... Which is also kind of creepy. My heart's racing right now. Okay. Initially, I was like, the first thought that came to my head was like, Ben was like choked earlier, yeah. right? I was like, okay, maybe it's Ben feeling whatever the hell's going on here. But now I'm not so sure. As soon as you said that, I felt like my, like my throat was closing up again. <laughs> that was weird. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm like anxiety. I don't know. What the hell was that? What's that? Ben, is that you? Okay. Um. So Ben's this child spirit. Yeah. You know, maybe he just wants to communicate with us. Possibly. That's you know. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? We didn't even ask anything. What is it doing? Seven. What is that supposed to be? What the hell? Okay. I'm in a very Seven. weird position. I'm like backed up against this wall right now. Yeah, and like Ben is completely outstretched. Okay, up uh, middle. Toy. Oh, it just said toy again. again. I, what? Alright, put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. I'm... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, this is actually really cool, but kind of very scary. But um, do you want to play with one of the toys? You heard my voice is heard. Okay, I, you heard that? Yeah. Oh, my jaw, okay. like, my mouth opened because I heard something and I said my voice is heard. I feel like we're hearing so much shit over there that we're, we're missing out. Wait, this, yeah. Dude, it's right by the toys. That sound came right from the, the toys. toys. Or, 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 it came from that room back there or that I've been peeking at that's completely pitch black that do I can't see into. you want me to go? Do you want me to go? I think we should close it. I don't think we should take no, our fingers off again. I don't think we should again. close it because we're, we're speaking. We could, you are, a we could, you are we crazy, man. We could restart. We could always we could always open it up again. We don't have to. Okay. I think we should shut it. Okay, we're closing the. Wait, the can I ask one last question? You can. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. okay. What is that? Mm -hmm. Literally, somebody was tapping on the table. <laughs> Bro, something's tapping on the table. Okay. Um. What is that? Maybe we shouldn't leave. Maybe it's like telling us stay, stay. Any question, Ben? Maybe, maybe, maybe it is speaking about you. In the off chance that it's talking about you, do you want to ask a question? Um. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to. Uh, why? Why me? If you are targeting me, if that wasn't just the weirdest attack I had to my throat in my life, uh, why? My name is Peter. My name is Peter. Who the heck is Peter? Do you know Wait. a Peter? Who is Peter? Can you tell us who Peter is? What's it doing? S. H. A. Shit. It's spelling shadow. So Peter is the shadow? I am so confused. What the hell? Yeah. Um. No, can we say goodbye? Do you want to say goodbye? We can say goodbye if you want. If you're uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. I, I feel like, I feel like there's something over there, man. Yeah, I kind of feel like Okay. Too. Uh, thank you for communicating with us. Goodbye. Okay. That was uh, really weird. Okay, let's go check that out. Yeah. Abraham. 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 That is really odd. Is Peter awesome. and Abraham. Um, grab my light. <sighs> okay. Come on. Guys? I swear to God, I just saw somebody standing back there. Like where the the curtain thing is? Yeah. What? How, cl how close? How close to the curtain? Like right behind the curtain. Here, I'll go check it out. Please. Please do. There's nothing back here. Hello? Anything? Oh. Oh my god. What? Oh, this dude right here. <laughs> Let's get the living shit out of here. Oh man, this guy over here just... Have you ever seen the movie, uh... Murder House LLC? Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like the basement yeah. from the... Yeah, it's like kind of wacky down here. It's, yeah, the zigzags and stuff is like, yeah. uh... Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? What the uh, fuck? I just caught that. Holy shit. Why would you do that? No, I didn't do that. I caught that on camera. It just shot. <laughs> yeah, the zigzags and stuff is like, yeah. uh... Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? What the uh, I just caught that. Holy shit. <laughs> Why would you do that? No, I didn't do that. I caught that on camera. It just shot. See, swear to God. The fuck was that? That's still moving. What is that? It's still moving. It's still moving. Wherever that was. We are delighted you're here. Just ran down the hall. I heard that. I fucking heard that. It was like something slammed the door and just ran away. Angela, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what the hell that was. 
Oh, I'm freaking out right now. Why am I? The foosball from the uh, yeah. the game room. I thought that's what happened. That's literally what you heard. I remember you. I mean, I've played a lot of foosball. And I would know what it sounds like. I didn't know you were a foosball champion. Uh, I'm not quite a champion. Have you seen oh, a friend here yet? Oh, I remember you. We meet again. You promise that you did not do no, that? No, I did not do that, Jets. I have it on camera. Bro, I was literally walking in like this. Oh, that was freaking me out for a sec. Yeah. The, light, the, right, the light reflecting from that? I, I thought I was just about to pass out. Bro, I literally walked in like this, and then... I just felt like a whoosh behind me. It smells weird in here. Oh my god. The, holy shit, Jazz. There's a. Yeah. I, I forgot just, there's a coffin down here. Honestly, after what I just experienced, I walked over there so nonchalantly. Like, I was just, I was just like yeah. beyond freaked out. Because from that to hearing the running to hearing whatever the hell was rolling over there, like. I mean, I found shh, one. Shh, shh, shh. The fuck is that? Yo, guys, guys, guys. Yeah. What? Still moving? Something was just there. No, 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 something was just there. That's just, oh. like, moved. I'm telling you, I saw someone standing there. It's like he's just looking at us. Dude, that's so freaking weird. That was weird. Yeah. Dude, from the, from what we the responses we were getting to everything now was so active. Like, oh, yeah. Out of nowhere, just back to back to back. Yeah. This place is nuts. Yep. Oh. And we haven't even went to a cornfield yet. <laughs> Yo, I, I'm. Let's be friends. Let's. Uh, yeah, we can do that while we're sure. here, at least for the day. Yeah. Let's try it. Maybe out. you, Ben, because you guys are serious. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks, Jess. Okay. Um. Well, let's go get our jackets if we're going to go out there. Yeah, she did. Uh, one thing she did tell me uh, to watch out for coyotes. We got Okay. Yes, definitely. All right. Sounds Bring good. Bring the brightest flashlights you guys have. Okay. So. We got a machete as well. That's a good We idea. do have a machete. We probably should bring that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <sighs> it was a pretty crazy night so far, and we all had our fair share of scary experiences. Ben especially. When we think back to what happened earlier in the night when he felt as if he was being choked, since then, as time progressed, it just felt like he was continuously being targeted and maybe something was attaching itself to him. Maybe something was trying to take over. I, I don't know. But Ben wanted to go to bed and I asked him numerous times if he would want to switch rooms with either me or Angelo and he said it was fine and he was still willing to sleep in the red room, the room he was choked in. So this was kind of a red flag for me, but I was like, okay, um, it's what he wants, right? Uh, ben actually went to bed earlier than we did. I actually was helping Angelo out with his channel. Uh, we went back down into the basement and continued filming, and Ben went upstairs to sleep. So we all had a camera set up in our rooms. Uh, Angelo and I had one set up when we went to sleep a little bit later, but we all had some weird experiences. So I'm going to show you first what happened to Ben when he was sleeping, because this was really weird. Take a look. Holy shit. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? There's no one out there. Oh, I swear to God, it's not. It's not like the door was opening. <laughs> oh, 
啊，好长。好了That's someone downstairs. Oh, yo, what are you doing? Marvin. You didn't. No, I was Did you just open my door? No, I was taking a poop. I thought you came up here with my camera and stuff. What the fuck, bro? I'll, we'll see it tomorrow if, if it was anything. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just losing it. And just look back at the footage, I guess. Oh, fucking no. Good night. Good night, too. We have a long drive tomorrow and we definitely need to get as much rest as we can. I will say as active as this place is, I don't know exactly how much quality sleep we'll get, but anything is better than nothing, right? So here we go. So we each got our own haunted room. We're all going to be sleeping individually and we will all be recording just in case something does happen. And I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I would definitely bet that we're all going to get some pretty intense experiences. Just based on what we already have experienced um it's a wild night and we're, we're gonna aim to wake up around three four o'clock anyways because that's when things get crazy and that's what you guys want so we're gonna make that happen see you guys at three or probably like i don't know 12 20 <laughs> when we wake up or some shot i don't know but all right guys take a look all right guys so we're gonna try and get some rest ben's already in there knocked out he uh I don't think he's doing too well. Yeah, so I somehow convinced Angelo to take the, you know, room where five or more people died in. <laughs> well, I took this room last time. So. Fair, fair. You got you gotta get a change of scenery, you know exactly. what I mean? Um so we're gonna try and get some rest right now. Uh and then the plan is to wake up around three o'clock in the morning, the you know, devil's hour, witching hour, whatever you want to call, it, and really have some fun. Um we agreed that we're going to split up a little bit. Angelo's probably going to go back down to the basement. Uh, ben and I are going to probably go out to the cornfield. Now, I know how stupid that may sound because, you know, you got to worry about animals. You got to worry about these shadow men that we're, you know, being told about because if they are guarding whatever they're guarding, if they see us as a threat, that's not good. So I will say so far, this, this night has been insane. Like what we have experienced has been nuts. Now, I won't say like, this is going to be like the longest ever video I've ever recorded because I actually don't think we have too much content, but the content we have is insane, especially down in the basement. Like, dude, it felt like we were surrounded and uh, it was affecting your cameras. It was weird. Um, there's also some crazy stuff that Angelo recorded that's going to be over on his channel. So you guys definitely got to go check that out. And um, yeah, this has been one hell of a night to say the least. So I can't believe Ben's sleeping in the room that he was choked in. He's got some cojones, for sure. Watermelons. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. Like brass. Watermelons. Brass watermelons. <laughs> so big ups to him. Uh, well, all right, guys. We're going to go get some sleep. Uh, 
I promise Angelo is not sleeping in his bed with me. Oh, I, man. Sorry, Angelo. No, uh, it's okay. I'm going to go in the room across the hall. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, the murder room. Not murder room. The death room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Enjoy. All right. All right. Good night, brother. Enjoy. Get a couple hours of sleep and then back to business. Good night, folks. I'll see you hopefully at three. Peace. Ben? Angelo? Is this motion censored? What the hell is that? Bro. Oh God, it came from in here. I'm almost positive. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh my god, this place is so freaky. I literally am getting such a bad vibe like everywhere in this house. I genuinely am not a fan at all. Oh my god. Nothing. Oh, oh my god, kitty, hello. Don't you have night vision too, I think? I'm almost positive cats have night vision. Why are you next to that doll? That's so freaky. It's like it has some sort of like a, I don't know. Oh God. What the fuck? Something's tapping on it. Oh, the... Something was literally tap. It sounded like Oh, I'm so over this place. Oh, I'm gonna just get some sleep. Something feels weird here. Very, very weird. Yep, tapping. Literally right there. I'll deal with it when I wake up. Good night. What in the actual hell was that? Sleeping, what the fuck? What was that? Weird. Okay.
the fuck? <sighs> All right, well, I guess nap time's over. At this point of the night, Ben and I decided to head off into the cornfield. Angelo decided that he was going to sleep a little bit more and then he was going to continue filming down in the basement and the main floors of the house. Oh man, uh, let me just tell you something. This cornfield experience was the scariest experience of my entire life. There's something in there. That's the, that's, that's the only trail through this thing. We're listening. Oh boy. We're listening. Um, all right, well, what are you listening for? We'd like to communicate with you. It's 3.30 in the morning. We'd like to spend time with the spirits of the cornfield. Here we go. What the fuck is that? I'm good if we turn around. Like, I'm genuinely good. Like, I think we should go in like 15 feet and see how it feels. Okay. So the thing about this is this goes on for a very long time. <laughs> like acres and acres of cornfield. This is something I've been wanting to do for years, but it's also one of my biggest fears. Yeah, so that's why we want to do it. Oh my what? What? Malicious. Oh. Malicious. Is there anybody here with us? This is some tall corn, brother. The kind of corn you don't come out of. Um, let's go this way. <laughs> this is so weird and freaky as all hell. Um, okay, let's just stay quiet for a little bit. Is there anybody here with us in this cornfield? Ben, listen, 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 listen. Something down there. The thing is, I don't know if it's, it's spiritual. I don't know if it's... Whatever it is, it's moving. Oracle. What does oracle mean? Like an oracle? It's like a... Like an omen, maybe? I don't know. Like an oracle is like a... Is it like a ma magician or something? I don't know. Like a, like a... Some sort of shaman? I don't know. Are we walking towards the sound right now, Jess? Yeah, I'm a white guy. Hey, we do that in movies. <laughs> you don't have to play it to the stereotype. You can outlive it. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, stop again. We gotta listen for sounds every once in a while. I hear moving. I hear moving like in the... Can you at least warn us? There's bad energy. Really? You don't say. Can you at least warn us? There's bad energy. Thanks. Wow. That, it's crazy how like this thing. I does. mean, it did say malicious earlier, and you're saying, "Can you at least warn us?" I think yeah. we're just stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they say that they see lots of shadow figures out here, shadow men, tall. Shadowmen, like some people have reported seeing something that looks like eight or nine feet tall. Giants, you know, so. Wait, didn't she say earlier about them like guarding the bodies? So they guard, she thinks that. It's a possibility. Yeah, that, that they might be like the guardians of this like property. The thing is, like, if they think they're guarding them from us, we're. Uh, oh. What the f was that? I don't know. That's all like crying. It came from in there. It's just raining. Clark. I hated that. Clark. Guys, I don't know that you're probably not going to catch how that just yeah. happened, but 
it started raining and it, it was you could tell it was coming like slowly coming in yeah but it sound, didn't it sound like something was running at us yeah literally or something was running at us bro because the thing is like I, I wanted to say it was wind but I'm looking up right now nothing's moving and there was that sound before like right before it from that direction like yeah. you heard like that that voice almost I am losing my shit, Jess. Uh, let me grab the camera. Hold on. Look. Gaining more energy. Gaining more energy. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Guys. Like, you need more energy. Listen, this is some scary shit. This cornfield experience is one of the scariest experiences of my entire life. You can hear it in both of our voices. We were absolutely petrified. And I want to hear from you guys. Do you believe that you would be able to stay the night, not only in the house, but the cornfield as well? If so, let me know down in the comment section below simply by saying hashtag yes or hashtag no. Genuinely curious to see the divide in answers because, uh, well, I'm actually going back, but I want to hear from you guys <laughs> if you think you'd be able to make it. But back to the video, we carried on and on. We just kept on walking and taking a left and a right and a couple more lefts and a couple more rights. and. Eventually, we kind of just lost track of where we were going. 15 minutes passed of us walking, and then this happened. I've been following you. I've been following you. What, what happened? You did not just hear that behind us. That was very close. What did you hear? What, 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 explain it, it. Something just moved over here, bro. You didn't just hear that. No. The, the audio definitely picked it up. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I think something just ran by here. Spiritually or? I, I, I don't know. So I'm hoping spiritually at this point. Well, I mean, something's been following us. So uh, maybe it's been following us. We, we've just been walking for like 15 fucking minutes and literally rich. It says rich is rich. Your name. That's... You know what? I'm going to fire up this necrophonic right now. If it is an animal, maybe the necrophonic sounds will scare it off, right? <laughs> oh, now it's raining again. I hope Angela's having a nice, comfortable sleep inside it's while we're at the 3.30 in the morning out here. <laughs> you hear that? That's a problem. Something was just fucking like moaning from deep in the cornfield. That was either. Did like you a... just see? There was a light over there for a second. What? A brief light. It was. It was an orange light. Uh, you know what's the scariest part, Ben? That's not the direction of the house. Hello. You hear that? Yeah, I hear that. I think we shouldn't keep on moving. Yeah. Um. You said Ben. I heard that clear as day. Ben, are we speaking to the Ben that passed away here? Is there anybody else here with us that'd like to communicate? Anyone ask a question? Ben? Ben, are you here with us right now? No. So who's here with us right now? Who, who just walked past? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Did you hear that? Shh, shh, shh. Here, shut that up for a sec. Shut that up. Okay, okay. It's so hard to tell if it's like wind. Ah! Ah! Get away! Uh. Bro, it was literally like that part right there just like pushed in. Like I, something just walked past. I thought it was an animal, but now I don't know. No, no, that. This is freaky as Okay, so let's say something is following us right now through these yeah. corn this cornfield, and yeah. it's yeah. Do you do okay? Oh. 
and now let's say coyotes come out yeah and they they want at the same time yeah and we're how far are we in it right now uh, god knows uh, heather did warn us about shadow figures being seen outside you know different parts of the property the uh, cemetery the uh the cornfield and when we were out in the cornfield th that that didn't let down at all uh, she was right when you're out there it, it's hard to tell every move of a light is hundreds of shadows in front of you and it becomes debilitating it becomes stressful it's anxiety inducing it is true terror that's huh. so freaky when the wind picks up <laughs> who's in here with us what did i say threat what who's that ben? this one moving towards us Who's there? Oh, stop it, stop it. Who's there? Uh oh. Okay, um, freaking out right now. Hold on. We got, we got to figure out what to do. Like, do we keep going or? I'm like, fuck, we've been walking for like 15 minutes, bro. I don't even want to do it anymore. Tweet. Okay, I think we know how to get back, right? I, we, sh we should be able to figure it out. We just got our we trail. Our steps kind of oh, wait. It's not mud. This dirt's pretty, uh... Oh, you can't see our steps. Oh, shit. I think we went mostly in a straight line for the most of it. Yeah, and we, we made a couple turns, but we should be okay to get out, right? Okay. Um. Okay. I think so. That way. Yeah, definitely yeah. this way. But it's just after that, it's going to be a little weird. Uh, maybe like where we cross through the cornfield, maybe we could see like an opening like where we came in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's go. Ugh. You know what's really funny then? What? I don't even like corn. Yeah, I, man, I don't really like I'm it. I'm not either. a fan at all. Ben? What? You didn't see that? I didn't see what? Bro, something just like flew past us. What do you mean? Like right? something, like a black mist just fucking flew right past us. Bro, you didn't see that. Bro, on God, if it was like something just went, like shot all the way down there. You swear you didn't see that. I, I, I bro, I was looking this way. I, you, someone walked right. Uh, Holy shit, bro. They literally was like, okay, hold on, keep going. Jesus. Ah! What the fuck? The fuck was that? Go. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh. Ben! Oh, fuck. This way! Oh my god. Ben! Jess! Oh fuck. Oh. It's broken there. Oh for fuck's sake. I can imagine you guys are probably sitting there screaming at your screens right now, telling me to do this, telling me to do that. And honestly guys, this is the scariest thing I have ever experienced and my fight or flight kicked in. Guys, I didn't have service. We were so deep into these cornfields. I had no service. I had no sense of direction. Every time I heard Ben's voice, it was from a different direction every time. I don't know if my mind was playing tricks on me, but Ben was agreeing that he was experiencing the same thing. Scariest thing I've ever experienced. Oh, dude, my knee is killing me. Ah, a little bust in my ass. Oh, Ben! I hear something over here. Wait, hold on, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Ben, is that you? There's something moving down there. Ben, is that you?
Ben, that's not funny. Don't play around, bro. Okay. What the hell? Oh, I don't like this at all. It sounds like something's, sounds like something's walking over there. It sounds like something's walking. Hey, Ben, I'm over here, bro. Ben, over here. Ben, I'm over here. I hear something walking over there. Ben, seriously, bro, it's not funny. What the? Something literally just ran by here. Oh my God. I don't know where to go. I literally have no idea where to go. This is like my worst nightmare. Hold on, hold on. Oh my God. No service. No shot, bro. No, no shot. Hold on, I'm gonna call him, but I'm gonna try to call him. Please, 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 please. The number you dialed has been. Ben? Where the f is that coming from? I'm over here, bro. Follow my voice. What direction? Hey, say something. Over here. Over here, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? Oh my god! Alright guys, um, I can't find Jazz. <laughs> uh. I don't know what the fuck that was, but there's definitely, there's definitely something wrong about this place. That sounds like a fucking animal. Okay. I feel, I feel like I'm almost out. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet for a sec. I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to fly. I'm gonna make a run for it in a sec. And then I'm gonna try to look for Jess after. Oh, I'll try to get Angel or something. All right. All right, guys, wish me luck. All right, guys, um, listen, we're driving home now. We're headed home uh after looking at some of the footage i realized that we left you on a bit of a cliffhanger and i, I don't want to do that to you guys so i want to talk to you a little bit about what happened to both of us how we got out of there and our experiences because listen what we experienced in there man i was in fear for my life and i'm sorry but the last thing on my mind was to continue filming i mean I, it, after hearing what we were hearing like I'm sorry, but from the scream to the shadow that I saw, I actually showed that to Ben in the footage after. His jaw was dropped because he was like, first off, right behind me. 
it was right behind you and, and right in front of me. And bro, we weren't far apart. We were maybe like five, six feet apart. Yeah. And something just ran. The thing is, when that happened, it was dead quiet. But there were certain moments where we heard something just run past us, jolt past us. Moments where we heard something like step right next to us. And this, this, there were some unexplainable things. I, I can't even put into words what was out there. And after hearing of some of the stuff that Heather was telling us, it's it's scary. Apparently, people report that there's this aura surrounding this this cornfield that if you're in there, you can't hear outside noises and voices and stuff like that. But when you're out there, it's the same deal. You can't hear what's going on in there, like the dark parts, which that just scares the hell out of me in itself. I mean, like when you first get out of the maze, out of the, the field, the first thing you notice is... Well, it's like you're born again. You, you hear everything. You hear everything. Yeah, right, like the right. crickets, you hear yeah, birds. Yeah, you don't exactly. hear that in there. You don't. You All don't. you hear is like the occasional corn crop like moving because the wind, and then you just hear vroom, like you some hear running anything past in the maze or in the corn. It feels like you, you hear it. If it's, 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 if it's amplified. There, it's, it's loud. Anything outside, you can't hear. Which makes me wonder when we did hear... Uh, coyotes they felt far away for all we know they could have been like fucking right next to us for all we know yeah because like Literally. sound didn't make any sense in there but it, it's scary because we were worried about coyotes and stuff like that to begin with but what heather told us was like hey if it's an animal you will know it's an animal yeah you know she's like i've seen deer out there i've seen buck out there yeah and she's like i, I she said she's even seen coyotes but the, the matter of the fact that she's like if there's something around you there's something around you to the point where like she said from her room because she stays on the second floor in like a her own personal room she says that she saw eyes from the cornfield yeah from her room which is horrifying because, because you see eyes how tall is the corn bro i mean it had to have been at least like eight foot tall that's horrifying that is horrifying. like what are you seeing i i bro so here's the thing when we were split up it was so scary because I was trying to find Ben, and, and obviously I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably like, "Oh, call Ben!" You know, scream his name. Probably many, many things. I'm sorry. When you're in there, you're in fight or flight. A million things are going through your head. Dude, plus, there. plus when no, there was no, I was trying to call you. Just went and said, "Oh, the person you're trying to reach is not." Yeah. Regardless of the fact, dude, it was, it was horrifying. I, I was worried about things around me. I was worried about this. I was worried about you. And then I hear your voice. So I start heading towards your voice, but then I hear something behind me. And I'm like, okay, what is that? Is that Ben? So I go, hey, Ben. But then I hear your voice from a different direction. And at one point, I swear to you, bro, it sounded like your voice was coming from two separate directions. And I don't know if maybe I was losing my mind, which is quite the possibility. But I will say, and I, Ben was even saying when he was alone, he was hearing some crazy shit too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like when there was a point where I felt like I was almost out. I think I, I like there's a part of the uh the field like the thicker main trail almost yes i got to that point and uh it sounded like down the trail down that thicker trail was or the wider trail was something and then it would he i'd hear it over here then i'd hear it over there so it, it felt almost like i was surrounded and at that point i was like okay I have to get out of here right now because whatever is there is circling, circling me. Yes. Uh, so I just booked it and I ran. But I felt and I felt so and much more comfortable as soon as you get out and you hear the sound. Oh, it was like, dude, it's it's insane. It so like, thank God. I want to say something too, really quick, because I, I I know how it probably seems from like watching the footage, like oh, like they're scared, they're running, they're screaming. But like I'm telling you guys. It is such a different feeling when you're there. Like, please don't discount that. Like, it is a different environment. Not only is it a different environment, but like, dude, it's it's pure terror. Yeah. And here's the thing I do want to say. I don't think that we had enough time. Because I feel like we went there at probably the worst possible time. 3 a.m., witching hour, devil's hour, whatever you want to call it. I think, and I'm going to open this up for you guys. Here's the thing. This place is pretty close to us. Within three, four hours. We will come back if you want us to. If you want us to come back, comment hashtag return. If there's enough comments, you guys wanting us to come back, we will come back in a week. You have my word. We will do a part two 
we will spend more time in the cornfield we will come back because we need more answers for all of those rooms the room ben was choked in the the room where the i mean the doll room to begin with the basement i mean what we experienced out there well, holy hell that was holy hell that that's a very bad verb okay um and the cornfield itself so you guys want us to come back we will we will i promise so let us know down below i'm just happy to be heading home truth be told so sleep in my own nice comfy bed and call it a night so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed leave a like subscribe to the channel and uh we'll see you guys when we return